What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, but you're welcome. What's up, Keen's dad? How are you? Time to do another eBay break, guys. 2017 playoff football, 10 box, half case break, number five. eBay style, like I said. Join me. Now, what is that? Don't worry about it, son. All right. Let me uh, get this a little bit nicer here. You know, I like Ascension. Ascension's a cool product. I am a fan. Of course, I got to say that, right? Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Abraham likes to do things when I'm not here. He's a he's a little rascal, this guy. All right, we're doing a half case of this. I just have to make sure I don't have like any loose boxes somewhere. All right, so I'm not even going to think about this. I'm just going to do the top 10 boxes. It is a half caser. Boom. There it is. What's up, uh, the catheter cozy? Whoa. I don't know if a catheter has ever been cozy, but I will say this. Kudos for the screen name. Uh, <laughs> actually made me chuckle a little bit, not a lot. Pretty funny. Um, as far as the uh, the flawless spot giveaway, those. Well, I'm, I'm actually glad you asked. So, we do giveaways on our website, ripcitycars.com. Uh, in order to get into the giveaway, where you can win a flawless spot of your choosing from our website, I have flawless college basketball from 1718. And I have 2017 Flawless College Football hit randoms in our store where you're guaranteed a card randomly, okay? You can get one of those spots for free just for buying into our full case breaks on the website, all right? So if you go on over to ripcitycards.com, register for an account, you can save $15 on your first purchase. And once I fill a break... One of those spots in that full case break is going to win a flawless hit random of their choice. You can either pick between the college basketball or the college football. Let's do this thing. See, there you go. Asking ahead of time for the Panthers. Watch XC Thump. I promise you, I'm good for it like half the time. If you get in the chat early enough and you ask for something, about 50% of the time, I'll hit it for you. Like literally, what's up, Jesse Smith? How you doing? Literally, somebody in the room, I want to say... I, th I don't think it was last night, a couple nights ago actually, somebody requested a Christian McCaffrey, and literally as I opened the pack, it was a Christian McCaffrey. So let me see, I got a Panther request, I got a Ram request, Cooper Cup action, very nice. Well yeah, listen, that's the thing, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're up to date with the feed. I know, I know sometimes you got, you want to catch up and things of that nature, you know, because you're, you're late or whatever. See, it, it seems like people are starting to get the, the, the hit there. Now I'm getting some requests for the Bucks, the Bears. Listen, the, the mojo is never used up. I just need to know where to put the mojo. You know what I'm saying? What it do, Kyle? I saw your text, by the way. Uh, it seems to me you you fixed the the issue.
close that up there. All right, let's see what we're going to get. All right. Good luck, everybody. Remember, get your requests in early, baby. Yeah, I see it, Kyle. I'll rip that for you once I'm done with this. All right. Let's see what's in this playoff. You know, there's some kind of cool stuff in here. There's a decent blend of rookies and, and vets in this. The Seahawks insert to 99 right there. Got Doug Baldwin, Russell Wilson, Thomas Rawls. Oh, man. So they moved my Hurricanes down to uh, number seven after having lost to Pittsburgh on Friday. To 25, two-color patch for Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. I'm actually a little surprised about that. I thought we would slide at, you know, no further than six. But I'm actually, I'm actually a little, not, not, I'm not mad that we're at seven, actually. I prefer when we're the underdog. Now, the Dolphins, we're just the hot mess, the Dolphins. We're, we're going nowhere fast. We're thin at running back. Our receivers, well, it's not even the receiver's fault. We don't have a quarterback to get him the ball. Yeah, Pittsburgh was a terrible loss, but you know what? I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it happened. Gerald Everett to 299. I would rather lose to Pittsburgh in the you know in the last regular season game than lose to Clemson in the ACC championship. You know that loss honestly could not have come at a better time. Now it's it's a little chin check, you know what I mean? A little reality check. Like okay, you guys thought you were you were national championship ready. Here comes Pittsburgh and. Uh, Stomps that stomps out the uh, the hopes for, for going perfect. Matt Ryan to forty nine for the Falcons. I'm actually glad it happened. It, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm one of those people that believes losing builds character. Uh, mind you, it's a very young team, so I'm hoping they can turn that negative into a positive and absolutely destroy Clemson. If we could destroy Clemson, oh boy. Zay Jones of the Bills to 99. Honestly, I don't think we're going to destroy them. But if we can at least win, then we're in the playoffs. Simple as that. Need some Ingram autos? I got you, play a pimp. See, when people request, I like it. I like it a lot. It's better than just seeing an empty-ass chat. You know, that's boring. Nobody wants to see that. So might as well come in here, ask for some cards. I will put my cardboard powers to use. And we can talk some talk a little football. Talk a little football. Jameis Winston to $2.99 for the Bucks. You know what sucks is when you stop buying your team and then in the next break your team ends up hitting. That's got to be a pain in the ass. Well, that's why I always tell people, you got to keep, you got to, you can't quit. You can't give up, you know. You got to stick with your team, especially if you're looking for a certain hit. You got to stick with them. what's going on now all right so once I'm done with this break I don't know how long it'll take me but uh, hopefully I'll be done before 10 o'clock because I do have a dynasty case to do yes that's right a whole case of it baby it's gonna be pretty crazy you gotta stick it out that's right catheter cozy you gotta stick it out you know, I understand the concept of losing money is not a good concept, but there's also another concept out there that's, you know, it's pretty cliche at this point. You got to spend money to make some. And another one we say in the streets, scared money don't make none, you know what I'm saying?
Well, that is true, XE Thump. You know, when you look at it that way, you do have a point. Uh, however, the opposite could have been true. You know what I mean? In your very first break, you could have got the McCaffrey. That's why we do this. 189 Davis Webb of the Giants. I completely understand where you're coming from, though. You know, taking an L dog is uh is no bueno. Plus, you know, the 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 joy you receive from seeing the McCaffrey get pulled is is, is not the same as just straight out buying it. You know, that that's kinda it's kinda like cheating a little bit. So two ninety nine Curtis Samuel Panthers there. We're gonna get you some good, XC Thump. You know, we're going to get all these requests out the way. Or my name is not Cardboard Moses. JJ Watt to 299 for the Texans. You got to think positive, baby. Got to think positive. Put it out into the universe. You know, the thrill of the hunt, baby. That's right. If that was the case, then everybody would just straight up, you know, go to eBay and just be like, all right, let me let me just buy that card. Nah, yo. We're hunter-gatherers, baby. We got to hunt for the hits. To 99, Jadavion Clowney of the Texans. McCaffrey's going to be nice. You know, the Panthers got, got some good good young talent out there. This, this draft class, honestly, has been pretty solid. Few injuries here and there, but you know that comes with the territory. But it's a very nice draft class. I hear Deshaun Watson's already practicing. Like, how ridiculous is that? Well, the thrill won't be gone once I pull you this McCaffrey, XC Thump. I'm speaking this thing into existence. Aaron Rodgers to 49 for the pack. We have here Jay Ajayi to 99 for the Dolphins. He don't even play for us no more. I'm actually glad he doesn't play for us anymore because we are going nowhere. At least he has a chance at a Super Bowl possibly out there in Philadelphia. Eagles are playing disgusting football, man. What's their record? They're like 10-1 and one or something like that? Which reminds me, what's happening with the Chiefs right now? Kareem Hunt was a stud muffin. Now he's looking, It's look, he's looking like me running the ball right now, averaging like 40 yards a game. So, XC Thump, you got the Panthers and the Bears in this thing tonight? Two big teams, oh boy. Got to hit you something nice. Rams going to take Philly out in the Coliseum. Oh, boy. Yo, catheter, are you are you a betting man or woman? I'm not exactly sure what you are uh, based on that name. But um, who are you rooting for? Well, clearly you're rooting for the Rams. Is it because you're a Rams fan or because you just hate Philadelphia? Or maybe a little of both. You know, as a Dolphin fan, I hate everybody in my division. But not as much as I hate the Patriots. Rams fan since 94. So, dude, how pissed off were you when the Rams relocated to Los Angeles? I thought they had a pretty good thing going in St. Louis. Not, a, you know, not the, over the last 10 years. But that's got to suck for St. Louis, man. They're a good sports uh, sports city. Yeah, I'd be, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge Dolphins fan. And as much as we suck, it would hate to, I would hate to see the Dolphins leave. Michael Irvin to 49 for the Cowboys. Which I hear is a possibility, actually.
I'll cry. Michael Vick to 299 for the Falcons. Yeah, you see what I mean, XC Thump? When you, when you don't get in, you hit. And when you do, it's like... Pfft. So let's uh, let's turn that frown upside down right here. I'm putting, putting all my energy towards you. And everybody else, too. To 189 for the Niners, Carlos Hyde. I'm actually, I'm glad that they're balling. You know, that way the, the city of Los Angeles can, you know, get behind them. So 49, James Conner for the Steelers. Yeah, dude, Eli getting benched. I don't know how I feel about that one. So Davis Webb is going to get action now. Let me grab the, spe the special mojo. Hold on. It's, it's it's in here somewhere. I got I got some special mojo. Let me let me dig it out. Hold on. It's in here. I know it is. There it is. Found the special mojo for you. Dude, a Wentz would be lovely. They got Geno Smith starting? No way. No way. Dude, they might as well put in Davis Webb. They may as well throw in Davis. Put the rookie out there, man. Might as well. Shit. Because Gino. <laughs> Gino. Gino's a joke. I'm sorry. I, you know, I shouldn't apologize, but, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. Especially if Gino's watching. Gino, if you're watching, I'm sorry, buddy, but you suck. Check that out for the Steelers. The 23 rookie ticket, Joshua Dobbs. Very nice. Listen, I'm hoping, if that's the case, maybe... I hope they release Bridgewater because Bridgewater is from South Florida. So that would be a pretty cool story if, uh, you know, they let him go and we pick him up. I'll take Sam Bradford too. Listen, at this point, I'll take anybody that's not named Jay Cutler or Matt Moore or Ryan Tannehill. Jimmy G starting Sunday too. That should be a good one. Kevin King to 299 for the Packers. Dude, Teddy's nice, man. I really like Teddy. Before he got hurt, and that was that was a freak accident, man. He was killing it before he got hurt. So hopefully, hopefully he balls, and you know, if he doesn't want, you know, or I should say, not if he, but if uh, Minnesota decides to part ways with Teddy, I would pick him up, man. What do the Dolphins have to lose? Not a damn thing. We are already hot garbage. The Heat lost to the Cavs today. Saw that one coming. The Heat are kind of like just up and down. Dude, he was lighting kids up back in college in Louisville. And he was doing good in the pros, you know, until he got hurt. And there's there's some weapons out there in Minnesota, man. Adam Thielen, I think is his name. Nice. I don't know if they've given Stacy Coley any minutes, but Stacy Coley was a beast back in college. Of course, I'm a homer, so I gotta represent the U. Dr. Death with the ruling on Teddy. Listen, I'll take a, I'll take an average quarterback because all the quarterbacks in Miami are subpar. Mediocre. Vikings, listen, Vikings defense is solid. What they need help at, they, you know, they had Dalvin Cook, which was helping them in the run game. You guys know what happened there. Uh, they picked up Sam Bradford. They got some decent receivers. 
O line is a little uh but Minnesota could be making some noise here. Just like the Bucks about to make some noise with this OJ Howard to 199 for the Bucks. Oh, really, Dr. Death? Damn, that is a small world after all. Isn't that like a Disney song or something? Ooh, Bradford is trash. Well, listen, if you're saying that, you know what? Actually, Sam Bradford is kind of like Jay Cutler 2.0. <laughs> Mac Hollins to 49 for the Eagles. Now that I think about it, Sam, Br Sam Bradford could throw the ball a mile. The guy's a gunslinger. Mm, and that's about it. Now that I really think about it, <laughs> Sam Bradford is like Jay Cutler 2.0. Julio Jones to 189 for the Falcons. Oh, you repping the dirty D, huh, Dr. Def? I got I got some homies out there in Detroit, too. Not the auto, but here's Christian McCaffrey to 149. Now, I did put you a McCaffrey. Technically, I did what I said I was going to do. We didn't specify, you know, you didn't specify that it was an auto that you wanted. But I'm going to work on that now. Let's, let's, let's cozy this up with the auto. Now, let's get you something nicer. Let's get you something nicer. Catherine wants a Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is another kid that, I'm telling you, man, this rookie draft class has been very impressive. Who would have thought Cooper Cup balling out there with the Rams? They got ballers out there too, man. Sammy Watkins. They're a little loaded out there. Todd Gurley. Leonard Williams, 4 out of 10 for the Jets. Well, let's 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 not, you know. Let's not stop the pony here. I don't know if that's a saying, but I just came up with it. Let's try to get you some autos now, baby. Spread the love around here. Let's get everybody some autos. To 299, Ronnie Harrison of the Patriots. Well, Robert Woods was going to take time. You know, you had to surround him with some, with some players. Uh, who else do they have out there? Um... They drafted him a couple years ago out of West Virginia. I forget his name. It's not Robert. Robert Woods used to play with the Bills. And he's he's a right. Tavon Austin. Tavon Austin. They still need to find a way to get the ball in his hands, man. That, that, that kid is explosive. You don't like Tavon Austin, Catherine Cozy? I mean, listen, you can say things like that because you're a Rams fan. Tavon Austin not producing, no bueno. He's still explosive though, you know. Maybe put him out there in the flat. Slot receiver. I don't know what they're doing with him, if they're using him at all. Inconsistent, can't feel the punt. Well, listen, I'll take your word for it, Catherine Jacozzi, because I have really have not seen any Rams games. So I can't speak on that. But, you know, looking at the numbers, Jared Goff is balling. Todd Gurley seems like he's, you know, gotten over whatever he had to get over. The O-line finally blocking for him. The kid can fly. That's my thing with Tavon Austin is... He has world-class speed. You know what? He kind of reminds me of Ted Ginn Jr. And now that I think about it, that's not the best comparison ever. Because uh, Ted Ginn has those uh, butterfingers. To 199, Justin Houston of the Chiefs. What happened to the Chiefs while I'm, while I'm talking about them? Chiefs started off hot. 
pr- possibly one of the best teams in the NFL. And now, now they can't get anything going, man. Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger, patch to 99. No hands, Tavon. That's not good. Well, he'll probably still, you know, make a roster off the stupid speed he has. Here goes Dr. Smith getting the Steelers' love. Let's spread it around, though. Alshon Jeffrey, 299 Eagles. You know, Chiefs have some weapons they're really not using, I think. I think maybe it might be time to consider moving on from Alex Smith. Now, I'm not saying Mahomes is going to be the answer to him. You know, get him over the hump. But Alex Smith is, he's a game manager. You know what I mean? Delaney Walker to 99 for the Titans. And Chiefs got banged up too. <sighs> Chiefs have been banged up. They lost Eric Berry for the year. Joe Williams to 15 for the Niners. Ooh, you want a Le'Veon Bell? Dr. Death, you like the nice things in life, huh? I am not mad at that. Well, with five boxes left to go through, I think it can happen. To 299, Matt Breda of the Niners. Yo, I'm saying Alex Smith started off really hot and then he came back to being Alex Smith. I think it might be time to consider giving Mahomes a look. I don't even know what the Chiefs record is. Honestly, I feel like they've just lost a whole bunch of games recently. Like they started what, 5 and 0? Oh? I think since then I think they've probably gone like what, 1 and 5 or something? Ah, see Catherine Cozy hooking me up. I'm glad I'm not losing my mind. Who is the biggest rookie bust this year? Hmm. That's kind of a tough one. It would have to be a first rounder in order for it to be a bust. Alonzo Ball. <laughs> Listen, Deshaun Kaiser... You got to give him a little bit. You got to cut him some slack, man. He's playing for the Browns. I would say John Ross. John Ross, I don't think, has done a single thing this year. And he's he was the fastest man in the combine. As far as the dude that uh, threw... Peterman threw five picks, yes. But yo, Dr. Death, come on, man. They gave that kid like three days to prepare for the game. Like, seriously. It came out Wednesday. Wednesday, finally, the coach decided, oh, I'm going to start Peterman now. When the day before, he had said, oh, we're going to ride with Tyrod. So the kid had like three, four days to prepare. That's not enough time, man. You know, maybe John Ross. Maybe John Ross might, might be the bust so far. I wouldn't call him a full-on bust yet, but underperforming the 25 two color patch for the Steelers keeps on coming Juju Smith how about this rookie not a bust at all kid is balling he wasn't ready he wasn't ready 
Like, how are you going to throw a rookie quarterback out there with three days of preparation, bro? Like, seriously? You're, you're setting him up for failure. Well, that's, you know, that's what separates him and you, Dr. Death. You know, I, I would say the same thing. You know, you throw me out there with 24 hours notice and I'm going to ball. I don't care what the coach says. I'm auto bullying everything if I don't like what I see. Josh Jones to 299 for the Packers. Juju's been killing it, man. Actually, I really like, you know, his, uh, it's not, it's not much of a story, but, uh, I heard he like, he, he rides his bike to Heinz Field, which is actually kind of cool. But then somebody stole his bike. <laughs> and apparently that thing got like, it was all over the news in Pittsburgh, which I think is hilarious. Ricky Williams to 299 for the Saints. I wonder if he got high before that game. Ricky Williams was probably high before every game. I wouldn't doubt it. A TJ Watt would be nice. If you like nice things. Fred Belitnikov to 49 for the Raiders. Raiders are another team that are kind of underperforming, if you ask me. Marshawn Lynch came back for nothing. Well, except to whoop on the Dolphins, of course. But then again, anybody can do that. For the Redskins, Jonathan Allen, auto to 199. This will be a 75. I need more top loaders. Luckily for me, I got a little stash. Get a girly. A girly would be lovely. Let's make it happen. Um, first things first, though. Your boy need these top loaders. Well, you know what I noticed that happens in breaks, though, is uh, for the most part, well, depending on the product, of course, but I've noticed in playoff, in these half cases, usually there are two or three teams that hit a bunch. You know, case in point right now, the Steelers. But that can all change. Still got four boxes left. A team or two could step up here and, you know, make this thing go crazy. You know, what are the autos looking like? It's pretty spread out as far as the autos are concerned. But there's one Steeler auto and a bunch of patches there. Time to see some one on one action. That would be nice. That would be nice. Hey, uh, Kyle, are you still in here? You need to tell me which uh, which flawless spot you want, man. So I can uh, take it out the store. You know, I'm almost done with this break. In the football. Gotcha. Which puts that thing down to six spots left. Hey, we might break some flawless college football today. I have seen a one one in this. I pulled a one one Wayne Gallman uh, in this uh, a few nights ago, if I remember correctly. It was either in this or in Illusions. To 149 of the Packers, Jamal Williams. Man, I can't believe they benched Eli Manning. 
For what? Dude, that coach is a joke. Really. Really is. Taiwan Taylor with the rated rookie auto. Damn, that is clean. This kid probably has the nicest autos of all the rookies. Uh, do I ever break impeccable or immaculate? Yes, I do, Catheter Cozy. Yes, I do. The problem is I can't keep it long enough because I sell it out too quick. You know, that, that fancy stuff I sell out very fast. And uh, truth be told, uh, you know, products that are that fancy on eBay because uh, we're not in the business of losing money. And truth be told, if we put Immaculate and things of that nature, National Treasures or Flawless on eBay, there's a good chance we're going to lose money on it. Uh, but we do post it on the website, RipCityCards.com. Curtis Martin to $2.99 for the Jets. Right now I have Flawless, College Football, and Basketball in the store. I had NT Baseball a few uh, weeks ago, sold that out. Actually, I got some more NT Baseball uh, just today. Redskins insert there to 189. I got Dynasty Baseball, Luminaries Baseball. I got some. I got some high end stuff. I got Immaculate Soccer. I got some I got some fun stuff to play with. To ninety nine, Andrew Luck of the Colts. Am I ever gonna see this kid play again? I feel like Andrew Luck hasn't played in like two, three years. Got three boxes to go through. All right, remember, guys, for those of you watching, you can get into our store breaks. Visit ripcitycards.com, register for an account, and you can save $15 on your first purchase, baby. You heard Andrew Luck is never going to play again? You know, James Boldeen, first of all, hi. Second of all, you know, I... I tend to joke around about a lot of things. Like, there's not many things that I don't joke around about. But that would be pretty fucked up if Andrew Luck never plays again. I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I'm not saying you are, James Bodine. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't play again. Like, it's, it's getting to that point where I'm starting to, like, kind of worry for the kid. You, you know, how long does it take back? Uh, how long does it take you to get back from that? What, what do you hurt? Like his neck or something? His shoulder. That's that's worrisome. I'm assuming it's his throwing shoulder too. Otherwise, you know, there's no reason why they're holding him back so long. Go to Europe and get stem cell therapy. Did Peyton do that for real? Wow. I did not know that. There's a lot of things I don't know. Deshaun Hall to two ninety nine for the Panthers. What is this? Boss Hog insert. You know they they kind of worry me when they're backwards like that because I just assume they're autographs or something. But uh, nope, looks like they just threw them in there to throw me off. That's cool. To 299, Josh Norman of the Redskins. Damn, his throwing shoulder. That sucks. 
You know, I think they're not throwing them out there because they. I, I think they're fully aware that their uh, O line is absolutely trash. And you know, throwing Andrew Luck out there would really just cement the end of his career. With that O line. Josh Jones to 99 for the Packers. Packers are kind of killing it now. I think that's their second auto. With uh, two boxes to go. Uh, why are these like backwards? Okay, let's try this. To 99, Lawrence Taylor of the Giants. Yeah, that is true. Their defense is no bueno. You know, as much as as bad as I have it being a Dolphin fan, sometimes I think I stop and think, and you know, I'm not the only one. <laughs> About half the league is also pretty trash. But why me? Falcons are stinking it up, which usually happens after this. You know, you lose the Super Bowl. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers to ten for the Packers. You know, I'm still kind of hurt about Aaron Rodgers, not because I'm a Packers fan, but because he was my quarterback, and I was gonna ride him to victory. Now, not so much. Alvin Kamara to one forty nine for the Saints. Here's another kid nobody really, you know was looking at and now he's killing it for the Saints. You can't tackle the kid. Shifty as hell. And he couldn't play with a better quarterback or system out there in New Orleans. Uh James Bodine now Now you're just getting ridiculous. Now you're just getting ridiculous. You watch your mouth when you talk to to Miss to Mr. Discount, double check. Listen, if he is, I could care less. What you do in your private life is none of my business. As long as you ball like that. No pun intended. Ooh, a little fat pack here. Then again, it might be a dummy card that always throws me off. What time is it? We got some time here. Is it that select soccer, Lucas? You know, Olivia Munn, I'm not a fan of. I am not a fan of Olivia Munn. I kind of, I liked her when she was, uh, like, I forget the name of the TV show or whatever back in the day. She just seems fake as hell to me. Don't get me wrong. I'll take that thing to Pound Town. But, you know, I'll be honest. She came out in an interview and she was like, oh, I don't like fat people. I think fat people should, like, all kill themselves or something like that. And as a fat person, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. So uh, here's hoping she uh, chokes on a bag of baby dicks. Well, that's true, but, like, why would you come out and say something like that, like, hateful as hell? Like, that's not even cool. Tonight, nine, Corey Davis of the Titans. Go for it, swinging athletics. Like, she, I don't know if she was, she was probably joking. But she said it, like, in some interviews. She's like, yeah, fat people disgust me. Ugh. 
<laughs> and uh, and then you know that broke my heart. To ninety nine Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs with the Patcheroni. Uh, Catherine Cozy, I you know I can't say that I was that good in my in, with my record, but I was a few games above five hundred, and then he got hurt, and you know, and then so went the rest of my season. Dak Prescott to tune right now to the Cowboys. There's a different ending to Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, liar. What's what what there there's an alternative ending to Napoleon Dynamite? And I'm just now hearing about this. Got a Steelers insert right there. Number two ninety nine. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. A Warren Sop rookie auto patch to ten. Ooh. To two ninety nine. Marshawn Lattimore, the Saints. We got one box left to go through. One more auto. And who's it going to? I don't know, but we'll find out in a bit. Jason Witten to ninety nine for the Cowboys. Almost done here. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Let's unleash the fire. I wonder what the rest of the case looks like after having seen this one. Still got one box left to go through, but can't help but wonder. Mmm, feels a little fat. Probably the dummy card. Alrighty. Let's see what's in this. Good luck, guys. And girls, too. Ooh, to the Steelers, TJ Watt to 99. It's official. Steelers killed it. Steelers killed it. You know what's funny about that, Jason Rose? We got a whole bunch of product today, and I actually have some WWE boxes. So if you want a John Cena auto... I could probably work that out for you. The 299, Joe Mixon of the Bengals. Mind you, I actually watch um, wrestling. I'm actually going to my first wrestling event, Monday Night Raw, uh, New Year's Day. Uh, and uh, I'll be honest, uh, I can't wait. What do we have here? Jadavion Clowney to 99 for the Texans with a patch. Sorry about that, XE Thump. But you gotta you gotta be positive, man. Gotta be positive. Uh the card will play the theme music if you uh if you cue it up on your phone. Dun 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 can't actually you won't even be able to see the card though. Because it's John Cena, you know, so you you'll have the card, but you just can't see it. Matt Forte to 299 for the Jets. I'm definitely going to be hungover on New Year's Day. 
Wrestling is for P pre well that that describes me to a T, James Bodine. You should probably put that into your uh your amateur set, you know, because you're a comedian. Your uncle was a wrestler? Nice. I'm not familiar with who Dr. Death is. I'll be honest. But that's pretty cool. Jim Brown to 49 for the Browns. You know, people look at me and they, they think that I'm, uh, I'm related to The Rock because I have his chiseled good looks. But I'm, you know, I'm not. To 199, Deion Sanders of the Cowboys. All right, XC Thump. I'll catch you later, man. Think positive thoughts, baby. Positive thoughts. We're going to get you some hits. And that was the break, though, guys. All right, so let's recap it. We only care about autos around here, so we're going to recap these autos. Flying Brian Pillman Jr., huh? Where is where is he wrestling now? In Mexico, in Japan, in someone's backyard. All right, recap. TJ Watt, Steelers. Davis, Titans. Jones, Packers. Look, I can already tell the three teams. Check it. Taewon Taylor, Titans. Jonathan Allen, Redskins, Joe William, Niners, OJ Howard, Bucks, Joshua Dobbs, Steelers, Davis Webb, Giants, and Zay Jones, Bills. So Titans hit twice, and Steelers hit twice as far as the autos. Oh, nice, Jason. That's awesome, dude. I'm wishing him the best, man. I hope he does make it. And that was it for the break, guys. 2017 playoff football 10 box half case break number five eBay style. Thank you very much.